Yo, what is up, guys? Yes, boy Josh, aka You Been Noobified. And you're asking, who is this? Well, this is just a little test my player I put together. He's kind of like my personal my player. His name is Jack Gilbert. And you see my little PSN name, NBA's Worst. If you want to add me there, do it. <laughs> I just did this just for fun. You know, I want to have a little single my player. Basically, this my player was set up to test if you can get drafted in the second round of the NBA draft in NBA 2K13. So basically, what I did in this video is I sucked. <laughs> that was my whole plan overall. I planned to just stink. You see, I chucked that from half court and nearly make it. Hits back rim. But you know, Jack Gilbert, he's a star. He's going to be one of the best in the NBA, and he just gets pummeled right there by uh, Damian Lillard. But look at this. We need some nice emotional music. This Jack dribbles. Fast, slow, spinning, crossovers. Tries to hit Damian Lillard. Steps back. Nice little through the legs, not really. Behind the back. Chucks it up. You got this, man. Nope. It's not happening. <laughs> Poor Jack. He's never gonna do it. Oh, he falls over. Okay, let's add some motivational music. Let's go, Jack. You can do it, man. Come on, you got this. Yeah, it's not happening either. <laughs> so, um... You know, if this doesn't work out, and me getting drafted in the second round, I might as well just use this. And Jack's showing off. He's like, come on, man. Come on. You got to come at me. And uh, he forgets that there's a rule called the eight-second violation. Uh, you got to pass half court. But look at this. Jack's trying to put some moves on and uh, loses the ball to Austin Rivers. And he's upset throwing the ball at the ground. But basically, if I didn't get drafted in the second round, I would still play. I would just want to make Jack... Or overall, my overall goal was just to have fun with him overall and just play around with him, use him as my own player. But looks like Jack gets tripped there or tries to flop. But at halftime, Jack's teammate grade is an F. He's doing pretty well, you know, if you look at his uh, overall standings as a player. You know, he's doing fairly well in scoring. Even though he's dropping, he's doing fairly well in rebounding. All right in efficiency. Not that well in team play. Uh, passing, not really. Defense, not really. Turnovers. Ah, poor Jack. You know, it's just not looking well. I really wish I can make him be a better player, but, you know, just Jack being Jack, he's not the best. Chucks it up from, like, 40 feet. You're not expecting it to go in, but Jack, being from Southern Alabama, he's expecting it. Right here, it's looking like Jack is going to ask, hey, yo, can I get a tissue or something? I don't know what he's doing, but, you know, he goes back on the court, gets the ball, and misses a shot, apparently, because he ends the game with no stats whatsoever besides eight turnovers. <laughs> so Anthony Davis is like, man, we lost. And it's because of Jack Gilbert. But, you know, Jack, Mr. Perfect Gilbert, he can be something in the NBA. He's just got to wait for his time. He's got to wait for his time to shine. But as you can see, he gets negative 50 overall. Um, VC for his teammate grade of an F. And let's just look at the interviews. Hopefully you guys enjoy these responses. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're picking 28th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Point guard is a position this team is solid in long term. We believe in Westbrook and we're not looking to draft a player to challenge him for the starting role. If we were to draft you, we wouldn't want you to feel like we're grooming you to be a career backup. We love your talent. One thought is to try and convert you to a shooting guard such that you can play alongside Russell. What do you think about that idea? I don't really have any interest being a shooting guard or sitting behind Russell for the next 10 years. I'm a point guard, and I'm a starting caliber player. I'd love to be on the Thunder, but I just don't see this working out right now. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. We feel like we have the best young core in the league, with Durant, Westbrook, Ibaka, Harden, Perkins, heck, the entire roster. We would love to grow that core with another exceptional young talent. Do you think you can be that guy? 
I don't think my game meshes too well with those guys. I mean, they already seem to do their own thing out there on the court. I would much rather jump into a situation where I could command a bigger role on the team. A place where I can be looked up to right from the start. I want my own team, and I'll get it. Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. Good game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the Bulls, and I must say, I was impressed with your performance. We have the 29th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Now, obviously, you play at unarguably our strongest position in Derrick Rose. Derrick is our centerpiece and who we're building this team around. He can't do everything himself. We know that, and he knows that. We've got some great pieces around him in Luol, Carlos, and Joaquin. I think we're lacking in depth, and I think you would be a great fit in our team. How well can you handle being on a team like this where the focus won't be on you? Mm, that's not me. That, that's just not me. I've never taken a backseat in my life, and I certainly can't start doing that now. I know me, and I know how I am when I'm not the driving force behind the team. Look, I love Chicago, I love the Bulls, but I'm sorry, I just can't do it, my man. All right then, one more. Coach Thibodeau preaches defense nonstop. His game plans are built entirely around it. What do you think about defense in today's game, and how does it apply to you? Defense doesn't win games. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. When was the last time you saw a championship team score in the 80s, maybe low 90s, and win consistently? They just don't. I pride myself on my defensive game, but it's not my focus. I've been given offensive talents, and I work relentlessly improving my skills in that area. There's a place for me in the NBA, but if you guys are going to wear me out on the defensive end and hold back my shot, that just doesn't seem like a match to me. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Nice performance out there. I'm the GM for the Golden State Warriors. We have the 7th overall pick as well as the 30th pick in this draft and are considering using one of those picks to select you. First, we'd like to get to know you a little better with some questions. We feel like we already have some great young guards on our roster in Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Look, straight up, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards, guys that will cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be used best, and I'm sorry, but that's just not with the Warriors. Okay, last question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. I don't believe in the definition of anyone having a perfect game, but... I really don't feel like I need to change my game to be successful at the next level. I think my talents speak for themselves, and I'm not about to go changing my game just because I'm playing against some new, allegedly better opponents. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you at this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Looks like it's time for the NBA draft. Where will Jack Gilbert go? You see, he got interviewed by the Thunder, the Bulls, and the Warriors. And at the bottom of the list, at the 30th pick, Jack Gilbert is projected to go to the Golden State Warriors. You know, they say that he can be good, but he's obviously not. Good evening and State. welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. Tonight represents the culmination of years of hard work for 60 of the world's best young players. It is also a time of optimism for our fans and our teams. It's going to be a great night. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. So let's get started. Okay, so we're getting started. I'm obviously thinking Jack's going number one. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select... Anthony Davis from the University of Kentucky. Anthony Davis goes first. Jack is obviously going to have to wait till later. Mississippi State University. Uh, so 27 picks go by, and is it Jack's time? With the 28th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, 
the Oklahoma City Thunder select Jack Gilbert from the University of South Jack, Alabama. Mr. Perfect Gilbert gets drafted 28th overall to the Oklahoma City Thunder. I was really upset because like, I was like, I don't want to go here. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first instinct. I'm like, I don't want to go here. I was going to answer negatively to every single interview anyway. But still, I was like, you know, I <laughs> it would be cool to go to the Thunder, but I just don't want to go there because since I'm going to be playing this no matter what, I'm still going to have to battle with Russell Westbrook. But as the beat kicks in, you know, it's time to show Jack's skill. It's time to show his swag. Look at that billboard. Look at that hair. Number 43, JG43. That's why he's number 43. I have no clue how I came up with that, but randomly it happened. But look at that. Jack pops, drops, polka dots with that deep, long range three. He's at a C plus, you know, it's all right. See his little commercial. You know, he's already being famous, which is very surprising being the number 28th pick overall. But another three is popped and dropped. Yeah, but I don't really know if Jack's going to be making that many appearances on this channel because basically he's going from bum to baller. Josh Cleveland is my main, my player. Jack may be my like, secondary. I really don't know. He's just going to be my have fun, my player. But Jack ends up having a pretty good game with 12 points. And we end up taking the win. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. You already know who it is. It's your boy Josh, a.k.a. You can go fried. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. You've just played your first official NBA game. Did things go as you expected? Yeah, I think so. I was pretty happy with the way I played. You know, at this point, I'm still just getting used to my role on the team and, you know, doing everything I can to learn from the guys who've been here longer than me. I hope this was only the beginning of what will be a long career ahead of me, you feel me?